What's good guys? I'm Dr. P. Welcome back today for another Fortnite video. Now today we got a huge update with Fortnite and I want to talk to you guys about some of the coolest stuff. If you guys could drop a sub and drop a like on the video that would be very much appreciated. We're getting close to 300,000 subs and every single subscription makes the difference. So if you don't have a YouTube account, please just go ahead and sign up. It takes a second and then you can support not only me, but every one of your other favorite YouTubers. So I want to talk about the meteor that's in the middle of Dicey Divot. And believe me, there are a lot of updates that have happened today. I'm going to have at least one more video up later tonight, so be on the lookout for that. It's a really good one. But in this video, I want to talk about the meteor and the situation with the Dicey Divot. Now, if you'll recall, and you're a fan of my channel, you've been checking up on my videos for a while. A few weeks ago, I made a video in which I touched on the first sign of something beginning to break out of the meteor. I'll throw up a picture right now of how it looked about two weeks ago when it first started showing signs of something breaking out so you can see it's really hard to see what's in there because the colors are not very vibrant it's tough to tell anything but you can definitely tell that something or someone is drilling into or coming out of the meteor so there's a little bit more info the latest update has actually updated the meteor again actually the entirety of dusty divot has been updated in a number of ways and i'll touch on that in a second but let me just go ahead and show you the updated picture of what the meteor looks like in the middle right now. So from the gameplay, you can see it's definitely a lot different. It's now glowing red in the middle, and there is something you can begin to actually get a very concrete idea of what's in the middle. Now, we aren't very sure because honestly, it looks like some sort of machinery uh, because obviously I'm in the replay mode, and if I am in the replay mode, I'm able to kind of go right through objects as if like, like I'm doing right now. You can see I'm all the way in here. I'm inside of this thing, and it looks like some sort of machine. I don't know what this is, but it's glowing red and that is for sure something very important Whatever this is they're trying to tell us a story and it links together with every other Easter egg and every other hint That's been dropped in Fortnite over the past couple weeks There have been a lot of rumors about what is inside this meteor What's actually inside and you can see it won't actually let me go underground and there very well could be something else under the ground but the theories are, it could be an alien, it could be a dinosaur, because if you'll, re if you'll recall, there is a massive dinosaur footprint northwest of Greasy Grove. So obviously, that was one of the first things that we got, and it, you know, maybe slipped our minds, but it very well could still be a dinosaur. There, there are also a lot of theories that it could be turned into a lake, Dusty Divot, that is. Eventually, and the thing in the middle could be a sea creature, uh, the Leviathan. So really, there are a ton of things going out there right now, and no one really knows for sure. But what we do know right now is that something or someone is opening this meteor more and more with each passing update. And I relate this a lot to how the comet situation went. Uh, the comet kept getting closer and closer with every given update, and eventually it hit the map. I think this is very similar. It's going to keep getting more and more cracked, and something's going to keep getting more and more exposed, and eventually it's going to come out and do something to the map. That's what I truly think. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, something else that has happened to the divot with this update is that nature has started to reclaim parts of the area. You can see uh, there are now trees and spots of grass within the divot. I'm not sure if this relates to anything at all, but I thought I would at least throw it out there and see what you guys have to say. Fortnite is doing an incredible job constantly keeping their game fresh. They added shopping carts earlier today. They are actually really fun. They don't go very fast at all. They don't really change the way the game is played. It's just kind of a fun gimmick that you can have maybe to hit trick shots because you can use impulse grenades on it and you can get some pretty wacky plays with the impulse grenade combined with building and the shopping cart going downhill. And trust me, it's a lot of fun to use. Besides that, they also added little mushrooms that you can find in uh, muddy areas, aka Moisty Mire in Wailing Woods, and you can basically use these mushrooms, and they're basically the shield equivalent of the apples. If you don't know what the apples did, they give you basically five uh, health every time you eat them. It's a consumable you can find on the ground in your trees, and it gives you five health. Now, the mushrooms will actually give you five shield every time you find them. I think it's a pretty cool idea. It's nothing too major, nothing too crazy, but it's something fresh, and that's what they love to do. They love to keep their game fresh, and they're doing an amazing, remarkable job of it. 
They also fixed and added a whole bunch of other stuff, but it's too minor. I'm not going to cover it here in this video. I may do it later. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. I'm going to have at least one more video up tonight. This is my second video of the day. I'm trying to have as much content out for you guys on the update day as I can because I know it's very important to you guys to have accurate information. So with that said, guys, I'll see you later. Have a great day. And until next time, take it easy and peace out.